Um, well, my story kind of starts off, uh, I was 18 months, and it's cold winter, I have nothing but a diaper on, and I'm left in a car with my sister who's 11 months older than me. We're abandoned, left in a car, and police report says we had looked like we'd been living in that car, and that the diapers would have been soaked for days. At that point, I was put into foster care. I was adopted and returned seven different times like an unwanted birthday. My sister was also adopted with me. Luckily, we stayed together through this entire ordeal where we suffered everything from abuse, malnutrition, torture, and even neglect. I had a scar on my chest from being held down at two years old because I was throwing a tantrum where my foster parent ended up lighting lighting up a cigarette, burning my chest with me. You see, there's a lot of these things that are happening, not only 20 years ago, but today, in the foster care system. You see, when these kids turn 18, they have this thing called aging out, where you're just basically on your own. You get some resources and things like that, but here's what happens. Two out of three of these kids, within one year, leaving the foster care system, they're either dead, homeless, or in jail. Because they have, they're missing what saved me. Mentorship and entrepreneurship. You see, what's allowed me, yeah. allowed me to be able to create the success I have today, which being featured in the magazine, being named one of the best by Facebook and the Hidden Million Advertisers, being able to work with amazing leaders in business like Les Brown and Shan Lecter and Greg Reed and all these amazing people I surround myself with because what my mentor, my first ever mentor, told me was back in 2008, he said, you should be listening to this guy named Les Brown. He's an orphan just like you. He's, he was labeled mentally challenged just like you. He had to live a very rough life, very similar to you, but look at him. He's a dapper millionaire. He's had major success. He's filled stadiums with over 80,000 people in them just to hear him speak. You can learn something from this guy. So I started listening to him. I started figuring out what I can do to learn how to be successful. And mentorship and entrepreneurship saved me. Mentorship allowed me to unlock my potential. Entrepreneurship allowed me the freedom to see that opportunity and create it for myself. Because being through the foster care system, being an orphan, it's really lowering your self-esteem a lot because a lot of these times you're just nothing more than a paycheck to these foster parents. And so I created this event called Servex, where it's a way for me to collaborate with entrepreneurs, industry leaders, and all while raising money for kids in foster care. Wow. 100% of whatever we raise, whether it's sponsor money, whether it's ticket sales, I literally come out of pocket a lot of money to put these on because I want to see people that are getting the education of what is going on in the foster care system. And I actually have a big goal. My goal is within five years from now, two out of three of these kids will not be dead, homeless, or in jail. But they'll have a mentor. They'll understand entrepreneurship. And they'll own their own business. 